Hello and welcome to the ninth episode in this video series on Python natural language processing. In this video we're going to go over stop words. Stop words are words that are used in common language in written and verbal. These words don't add a lot of value to the, contact, the content of the speech but are essential and are words that are necessary in understanding. For example, the and of. If I were to remove these words from this tutorial, you'd probably have no idea what I was talking about. However, in a data set, when we're analyzing it with natural language processing, we don't necessarily care about these words. The and of don't really tell us any information. And today we're going to look at a Wikipedia article, remove stop words from it, and see that removing just a few of them makes a very large impact because these words are typically the most frequently used in a general sense in a general sense so removing them um, will, will drastically reduce our data set especially if you know the usage of the common words and in the style of language that you're analyzing so let's go ahead and get started first we're going to import um, the Wikipedia API module. So we go from or imports Wikipedia as wiki. And in the last video, we looked at tokenize. So let's use tokenize to divide the string that's returned from the Wikipedia. API into a list of words from nltk.tokenize imports word under bar tokenize. So we're importing that specific module. All right, so let's first get the article. So we'll go wikidog because we'll pull uh, an article we'll pull the Wikipedia summary of dog. So we'll go wikidog equals wiki dot summary and the literal string of dog. All right, so that was successful. So at this point, Wikidog is one massive string. And we need to break it up into a list of words so we can iterate through it to check for stop words. So let's go um, toke for tokenize word because we're breaking up into words and underbar uh, um, dog. So we're gonna use the method that we imported which from nltk.tokenize, which is word under bar tokenize. And let's pass it wikidog. Okay. So let's see what toke word dog is. And like we suspect, it is a list of words. And it has some punctuation in there too. Okay, so if we're going to look for stop words, we have to def define what our stop words are. So let's go wiki. Let's create a list of, of literal strings which are going to be our stop words. So wiki stop word words equals and brackets for each case. So scanning through this, I see a couple that pop up. The it's going to be extremely common in language. The I see is I see are C two. Um, I know that is going to probably be in there. I think this will be in there. All right, so even just this small list, we have one, two, three, four, five, six entries. So we have a stop word 
Oops, I'll correct that typo. ST stop words. So that's good. So we have our stop word list, which is just a list of six words. So the goal is going to be to create a list that's origin is the article that was returned, but this list will not have stop words. So we're going to create a loop to compare each word to the stop word list. And if it's not included in that stop word list, then we want to save that to a new list, which is a list with no stop words in it. So we need to create that first before we loop through. So we need to initialize our list that does not contain stop word, but the information that we want to analyze. So to do this, I'm going to create a list called uh, wiki dog and I'll go no SW. So that's going to signify it's a Wikipedia article about a dog with no stop words. And we're just going to use the list function. So when we assign wiki dog no stop words to list, we're creating a list. It's empty right now and we're going to fill it with the content that we'd like. So let's run a for loop to compare. And we want to iterate through toke word dog. This has all the information. So it has the information of interest plus stop words and we want to remove stop words. So we need to iterate through the whole thing. So for i in range range oops 0 comma length of toke word dog which is our, our Wikipedia article. So we're iterating through the whole list. Um, in this case, we're going to check to see if this list contains stop words. And if it contains a stop word, we're not going to do anything with it. And then, um, so we'll do this by using an if statement. So if you if the word is a stop word, let's not do anything. However, if it's a word that's not a stop word, let's append it to let's append it to the list that we initialize up front, which has no stop words. So to do this conditional if check, we'll say if the current value of toke dog word, so if the current list entry is in wiki dog no stop or, or I'm sorry wiki stop words so if we are within the stop words we don't want to do anything so uh, if we're iterating through or you or you have some boundary condition check uh, pass can be used if you don't want to do anything for that specific case else let's append it to our no stop word list so else we have the list we're going to use the append method so what append does is sticks the value that you pass to it to the um, the next item in the list so it'll go in order and it will append the, the value of interest and what is that value of interest well if it's not in stop words it's going to be the current list entry in toke dog word. Okay. So let's give this a go. Now let's print this out. Okay. So let's compare the length of these lists. And we're going to notice um, 
some issues with this that we'll address shortly. So the original list was toke word dog. Let's see the list, the length of that is 228. And let's put this to the test to see that with these stop words removed, the six of them, what is the length? Okay, so we removed 28 words. Now one thing that is going to raise, maybe perhaps you saw it, the first word is the. Now Python doesn't understand that capital T-H-E is the same thing as lowercase t-h-e, the. So notice we're comparing literal strings. So it is literally, if you have these three characters, um, it doesn't, Python doesn't know in this case whether uppercase T and lowercase T are the same. So how can we uh, resolve this issue? Well, if when we're comparing, we, com we automatically convert the value of interest to a lowercase um, value right away in that comparison, then we'll know that we're removing that word. Because the kind of dumb way to do it, perhaps, is to double the size of stop words and have an uppercase for each case. That would double the size of that, and we don't want to do that. Because we're iterating through this stop words list every single time for each word. So how can we do that? Well, luckily, Python has a built-in method called lower. And what lower does is takes your string and automatically converts it to an uppercase, or I'm sorry, it takes an uppercase word, converts it to a lowercase. So it, instead of doubling the size of stop words, let's just, if it's a capital letter, let's just make sure it's a lowercase for the comparison. So let's do this. So we know that originally this list was 228. Uh, with with the first pass of our stop word list, it was 200. Now let's let's see if there's any impact, which we know there is at least one. We'll see if there's a couple others by looking at uh, not being case sensitive. So now looking at that, oh, hmm, wiki dog no stop. Ah, that's funny. So I appended, I it saved the last value of um, this one. So append, that object was already created and it just added more onto it. So I'll go, uh, I'll, I'll have to reinitialize this list. So first I'll do this. So what happened here is I ran one loop it already had that list and I ran it again and it just appended to that one. So I need to create a second list. So I need to initialize wikidog no stop words too. So wiki dog no stop words too. You can't blame the computer for being more precise than ourselves. So let's do this again, and I'll just go wiki stop words two, and I'll print out the length of wiki stop words two. And let's see. So we removed four other entries by going by not being case sensitive. And remember, we only had six words in our stop word list. And then further from that, we made sure that our, our comparison in the stop words list was not case sensitive. And that removes them even further. And if we scroll back, if I took out four of a as we add to the stop word list, we're going to reduce further and further and further. But this video served to show you that even a small number of stop words can drastically reduce your data set. 
because these stop words are frequently used in language but do not add a lot of value to our data analysis. So removing them, uh, we get a twofold improvement. We get an improvement because our data set shrinks drastically and we don't care about these words. So get them out of there. So thank you for watching this video. The next one will go over how to write this into a function so we can reuse it. This will be nice because we'll, all, we'll have a, a go-to function. So you can add to your stop words list and you can create custom stop word list for specific applications. So perhaps there are words that, you, that, that are considered stop words in one case and not in another context and you might want them. But this way you'll be able to customize and you can add on to them and keep refining and getting your data set closer and closer to just the information you want to analyze so it's a smaller set um, better for optimization better for size and just overall good practice of programming so thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more content have a great day